guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a first impressions on the profusion spectrum palette this palette is pretty inexpensive i purchased it on amazon it comes with 10 shades as you can see and they're all matte shades so if you're ready to see how i got this look stay tuned and before we get into the video make sure you're subscribed to my channel okay okay Okay, don't be watching, don't be watching, and you're not subscribed because that's shady, okay? It's free. Do it. Thank you. A lot. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. Let's get into the video. Hot boy. So quick little look at the palette. The palette comes with 10 different shades as you can see here. So basically it's just kind of like a rainbow palette if you would say. Um, they do look pretty pigmented. I actually started using this palette already while well, I was attempting to use it in a look from before but it just wasn't working so we're gonna try it today okay so i really want to use some blue like some blue green like this color right here that i started using is super cute and this one i like so we're gonna start with these two as you can see my eyebrows are already on okay um ooh. so today we're just gonna we're gonna be using our um we're gonna use the we're gonna use the p louise base to go ahead and set dropping stuff you guys i'm so happy so i started going back to the gym yeah, I, know, I, know. Uh, I started going back to the gym so i'm super excited about that because i've been wanting like all year to be super consistent with going to the gym so i'm hoping that now i will just be going to the gym i've also been trying to eat pretty healthy so yeah just like <clears throat> I'm just trying to get my life together, you guys, okay? Just trying to get my life together. And I'm just going to take you on the journey with me. I'm going to be using my P. Louise Rumor 2 base. Don't look at my nails. They need to be refilled. Like that. Oh, my God. And, you guys, today I found out P. Louise and Morphe are going to be, like, partnering. And P. Louise is going to now be in the Morphe store. Hello. That's what I needed, okay? That is what I needed in 2019, okay? Because I don't want to pay that shipping. So now everybody that commented on my P. Louise video, you have no excuse. Because once it's in the Morphe store, you gotta go get it. Oh my god, that's gonna just be so great. I'm gonna be able to get my base whenever I need it. Oh my god, I know it's gonna be like sold out when it first gets to the Morphe store. My homegirl who's at the morphe store who is at the morphe store jazzy hook it up hook it up if you're watching jazzy you should be the color nautical this is like bluish purplish and i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna go ahead and blend out on the um outer corner of the eye okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease Lately, I've been cutting my crease a different way. I got this from Rocio. Um, she's here on YouTube and also on um, Instagram. If you guys watched my rainbow brow video, I was inspired by the same girl. So she cuts her crease with like an, um, an eye makeup remover. So I do the same. Basically what I do is I take like a little napkin like this and then i kind of fold it over and then i put the and this is by this is from rim Roll london by the way i can never say that right rimmel rimmel let me shut up you could do this also with the makeup wipe it's just i have this eye makeup remover and i don't really use it like to remove my makeup so um i use it for this and i just kind of like 
put my brush in it kind of like soak it in there and sometimes i just put the makeup remover directly on there because it like helps it remove faster and then i just kind of just take it and i start like wiping it over my eye like this this is just so that way i have like a really perfect base when i'm going in and cutting my crease and i put the you know the the base stuff over it and you just kind of like rub the brush over it you may have to go in and put it on multiple times and then i'm gonna go ahead and take my rumor two base again and i'm gonna take another brush and just go ahead and go over uh the part that i creased <laughs> crease to be cut like this but i think this is really dope and really cool so whatever i just did my thing as y'all see so i'm gonna go ahead and take the color nautical again and i'm just gonna kind of like smush it in here so that way it kind of like blends in a little bit take the color Bermuda which is this light blue color right here and I'm gonna go ahead and take that and like fill this part in got that done and my eyes look freaking cute as heck they look amazing i love this so much i'm gonna be taking my p louise um this is from the basic rice collection no it's not it's just from the basic i think this is from the winter collection i'm gonna take this pink like rosy one and i'm just gonna take a thin um little brush and just kind of <clears throat> line it up i'm just gonna line it up along here where i left that um empty space just to give it like a pop of color because it was looking a little boring like it looks good i ain't gonna lie it looks good it looks cute but i need to give it like something something extra <laughs> the face so i haven't really been showing you guys what i've been doing different with my face routine so i'm gonna show you guys so i always use my elf hydrating primer this is like my favorite primer um that i own um and i just really like it because it reminds oh god it just really reminds me of the smashbox one and i really really love that one it is obviously less expensive than the um smashbox one because i believe the smashbox one is like 38 or something like that and i think this one's like 10 or 12 dollars so i prime my face and i take my mario Desco spray i spray this quite a few times throughout my face application and the reason why is just because i like my face application to be pretty smooth and blended in together so that's really why i do it so i'm gonna be um um <laughs> color correcting with a peach concealer so i use this one now in the place of the orange one just because um i feel like the orange one was literally turning my foundation orange and it was just too much for my skin tone and i feel like this peach corrector works a thousand times better as far as like helping with my discoloration i always put it on my 
mustache area here even though i don't have a mustache because i shaved it already um you know you just have the hyper pigmentation there and then i just go ahead and kind of like dot it in my dark areas like here photo focus uh foundation and i have it in the shade desert beige um i actually like this and it's super inexpensive Ugh. it's super inexpensive for those of you who might be considering buying it and i'm gonna take my morphe m43 brush this is a great brush i love it so 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 much i use it on all my looks i have like three of these brushes and they're really really bomb and also a good brush just in case you were wondering the m 446 brush i haven't even used this yet because i wanted to but it's so good and i love it too and it has it's like this brush but it has a longer handle which is something you know it's a preference the reason why i really like this foundation is because you can just like slap it on and it's just so good concealer in the shade creamy beige and i'm just gonna go ahead and just apply this everywhere where i normally would apply it I use this to contour and I'm just gonna take a little bit here a little bit here and all along here baking powder from makeup revolution i love it i love it stand by it this we're gonna put in all the places we highlighted and i'm also taking this uh maybelline fit me um loose setting finishing powder it's a finishing powder but i use it like along here because it's closer to my skin tone than this is because this is really really light um is it works for the under eyes it just doesn't work for this space right there true complexion contour and cut and i'm gonna take the contour and the highlight shade i mean the contour and the sculpt shade and we're just gonna go in and bring us back to life some blush some blush some blush some blush now i'm just gonna take some from my mac studio palette this is an old palette that i've had for a while i found this at marshall so don't come for me i'm just gonna put that blush on here smack that blush i kind of start where my contour is 
um, and like blend that in. So I'm gonna use some of my um, NYX liquid highlighter, the Awavy Glow highlighter, because as y'all know, I love it. So not gonna stop today. I'm gonna dot, dot, dot. highlighting powder this i like so much it's in the shade a uh, golden flower crown and it's so freaking pretty and i love it the fake lash because I hate when people are like me I just still like fake lashes I don't like fake 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 well you're fake so and last but not least we need to do lips I keep my lips very simple because of all the hard work we just did on our face we ain't got time so I'm just gonna take a brown regular regular schmegular uh, lip liner I like this one because it came with like a little sharpener on it I got this from my local beauty supply this is from RK by kiss This one from Tarte. This is like a little sample thing that I got at Sephora. So, this is the final look. I would say I'm pretty satisfied with it. I think it's pretty cute, pretty bomb. I spent all that time on the freaking eyeshadow. But that's fine. It's really okay. It's really okay. I actually love the way my lips came out. They came out pretty close to perfect i don't know like i just gotta practice with lip liner because it looks so good but it also can look really bad real quick so i don't know but the spectrum palette i actually did like this palette a lot the colors were super pigmented not really hard to work with this lighter color was a little bit hard to work with because it did kept kind of like rubbing off but if you are consistent with it it'll be just fine um so yeah and it's only five dollars so i'd say it's super affordable and it's something that any could anybody could probably get so i say go ahead and get it i'll be leaving the link down below in my description on where you can purchase this i bought it off of amazon but i'm sure you can also go ahead and go on profusion.com and get it i'm pretty sure ulta might have it because i believe they do have profusion in there they have some profusion things so um you could probably get it from there but it's a very inexpensive palette and it just gives you a lot and since rainbow is pretty popular and like colorful eyeshadow looks are like in um this would be a good beginner palette if you want this and you're not gonna tr and you're not trying to spend like a whole bunch of money you know this will give you the basics um so yeah i liked it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you guys just liked watching me do my makeup let me know anything that you guys would like to see in the future on my channel just leave some comments down below you know let your girl know and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give me a big thumbs up because that helps me out so 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 much and make sure you share this video that scared me i love you all thank you for the support and the love and i'll see you guys next week bye